we are going to talk about biosynthesis of amino acids and in this lecture we will discuss biosynthesis of glutamate family amino acids are organic compounds that consist of alpha carbon this is alpha carbon in the center hydrogen amino group carboxylic group and specific r group side chain one linear chain of amino acids as you can see here one linear chain of amino acids is called polypeptide this is polypeptide and one or more polypeptides make up a protein this is a protein right there are 20 major types of amino acids found in protein of which the difference are the side chain this side chain means R group that contain various chemical structures. And this R group gives each amino acid and finally each protein specific characteristic. And these features include size, shape, hydrophilicity, hydrophobicity, interaction, polarity and pH level. Each of these characteristics is crucial for the stability of the proteins right amino acids are classified into two types essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids non-essential amino acids uh, which can be readily synthesized in the body and these include alanine asparagine aspartate cysteine glutamate glutamine glycine proline serine tyrosine right then essential amino acids Essential amino acids have to be obtained from the dietary sources because we either lack the enzyme to synthesize these amino acids or make them in amount that are not sufficient. And uh, essential amino acids include arginine, histidine, uh, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Biosynthetic families of amino acids. According to their respective precursors, as you can see here in this table, these are the precursors. Precursors means starting material from which the amino acids are formed. So, according to their respective precursors, the amino acids are grouped into six families derived from glutamate. Serine, aspartate, pyruvate, or corismate. Right? Here in glutamate family, here the precursor is alpha keta, uh, keto glutarate. And the amino acids which are formed from alpha keto uh, glutarate are glutamate, glutamine, proline, and arginine. Similarly, serine family. Here the precursor is 3 phosphoglycerate. And the amino acids which are formed from this precursor are serine, glycine, and cysteine. Similarly, aspartate family. For aspartate family, the precursor is ox oxaloacetate. And these amino acids, aspartate, asparagine, methionine, treonine, lysine, and isoleucine, these amino acids are formed from oxaloacetate. Similarly, aromatic family uh, include. Uh, this tryptophan, phenyl, alanine, and tyrosine amino acids. Here, the precursors are PEP and uh, erythrose 4 phosphate. Similarly, pyruvate family. Here, the precursor is pyruvate, and the amino acids which are formed from this precursor are alanine, valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Right? Now, in addition to these precursors, there is a notable intermediate in several pathways of amino acids and uh, nucleot uh, nucleotide synthesis. 5 phosphoribosyl 1 pyrophosphate PRPP is synthesized from ribose 5 phosphate, right? Which is derived from the pantose phosphate pathway in a reaction catalyzed by ribose phosphate. Uh, pyrophospho uh, kinase enzyme. Now, before starting with the glutamate family, 
let us discuss amino acid biosynthesis in general. All amino acids present in protein are alpha amino acids, right? The carbon skeleton of amino acids is derived from intermediates of uh, carbohydrate metabolism pathway, means uh, various metabolic pathways like glycolysis, hexose, monophosphate shunt, and uh, Krebs cycle, right? And you can see here in this diagram, these are the different families, biosynthetic families of amino acids, right? This is glutamate family. In glutamate family, precursor is, as I already told you, alpha keto glutarate, right? And uh, here, the amino acids which are formed from this alpha keto glutarate are proline, glutamine, arginine, right? Similarly, this is aspartate family and for aspartate family, precursor is oxaloacetate, which is a part of Krebs cycle. And alpha keto, uh, keto glutarate is also a part of citric acid cycle. This is a citric acid cycle, right? And then uh, glycolysis. Here, I can see here in serine family. In the case of serine family, here the precursor is 3-phosphoglycerate, which is a part of glycolysis. Similarly, aromatic amino acids, right? Here the precursor is chorismate and then pyruvate precursor for the pyruvate family, right? Today, we will discuss only biosynthesis of glutamate family. The glutamate family includes four non-essential amino acids, glutamate, glutamine, proline, and arginine, three of which are synthesized from glutamate. First, we'll start with the synthesis of proline from glutamate. Proline is a cyclized derivative of glutamate. In the first step of proline synthesis, I can see here, ATP reacts with the side chain carboxylic group of glutamate to form an acyl phosphate, which is uh, reduced to NADPH or NADH to glutamate gamma semi-aldehyde. This is, right? And this intermediate then undergoes a rapid spontaneous cyclization and then reduced further to yield proline. Synthesis of glutamine from glutamate. Glutamine is synthesized from glutamate by enzyme glutamine synthetase. This enzyme, right? This is glutamate and uh, enzyme glutamine synthetase. In this reaction, this gamma glutamyl phosphate is formed, which is an intermediate, right? How it is formed? As an enzyme bound intermediate at the expense of ATP, right? ATP is required to activate carboxylic group, right? In, in here, it then react with ammonia to form glutamine, right? This is and uh, release of PI group. Synthesis of arginine from glutamate. Arginine is synthesized uh, from glutamate via orentin and uh, urea cycle in animals. So arginine synthesis start with glutamate to generate ornithine. As you can see here. Cycle start from glutamate and it uh, produce ornithine, and this ornithine then enters to urea cycle, right? And then produce arginine. Now, how this ornithine is produced? Ornithine is synthesized by transamination of glutamate with one pyrrolein 5 carboxylate and in the first step, this glutamate is acetylated by enzyme glutamate transacetylase to N-acetyl 
glutamate, right? And then this is followed by activation of gamma carboxylic and uh, carboxyl and reduction of this carboxyl group to an acetyl glutamate gamma semi aldehyde. And this data is transaminated to yield an acetyl ornithine. Right? This is an acetyl ornithine. Then with the removal of the blocking group, it forms ornithine. And then this ornithine is converted to arginine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.